Okay, so viewport styles. We can change our viewport styles up here on the uh, these four circular icons here. Uh, so by default, you come in in uh, solid shading mode, which gives you this nice uh, basic representation of the shapes of your models. Ideal for when you're actually modeling, uh, because you don't want lots of textures and lighting uh, throwing your eye off while you're you know, refining shapes and such like. There's also a wireframe mode. We have the material shaded mode, really good for, you know, making sure your textures all marry together. And then we have the viewport mode. So, uh, or the rendered mode rather. So the rendered mode uh, basically shows you, you know, how it will render with your currently selected render engine. Uh, so that's over here on this little camera icon. I have it currently on cycles. I could switch it over to EV if I wanted a quicker representation. On top of that, uh, we have our visibility options up here. So, for example, I can come in here and turn any of these objects off. Uh, for example, lights, and it will turn them off in the scene. Obviously, <laughs> in the rendered scene, I don't want to turn my lights off because I want to be out of scene. Uh, we'll see the scene rather. Uh, but you could turn off things as a whole here, as opposed to using the individual uh, hide and show in the viewport collection. Uh, here we have our gizmo options. So if I want the gizmos to be visible, uh, I can simply turn them on. Uh, so the move one, for example, will allow me to just grab an object and move it around. Now I can grab lots of objects and move them around. And it's really quick just doesn't take any time at all as opposed to you know having to use g and then restraining it to um, various axes okay so let's turn that back off again that moves for uh, rotate and scale as well uh, then we have the viewport overlays which is very handy the viewport overlays basically give you information on top of your models so if i turn that off you'll notice that all the wireframe goes away a little camera disappears there and the light up there disappears. So there we go. Now it's a cleaner view, um, but perhaps, you know, not necessarily what you want. Um, it might be something you do at the end when you're heading towards the rendering stage and you don't want anything else in the scene um, confusing your eye. The options we have in there as we have this text info which whoops, uh, represents the text over here, just next to the uh, tools. So this is telling me what my camera is, etc., etc. It's telling me what I've got selected and in what collection it's in. So it's in my ENV collection and it's called bar. Uh, so we can turn that off if we don't want it. Uh, underneath that, we have statistics, which is very handy, it tells you how many objects you have in the scene, how many you have selected, uh, how many vertices there are, edges, polygons, and triangles, etc., etc. Uh, it could be quite handy, you know, if you're trying to cut some of it down, um, trim it out a little bit, you can monitor it on the statistics. The 3D cursor will toggle the uh, 3D cursor on and off. There we go. And I've got no animations in the scene, so that's not going to help me in the least. On top of that, we have extras. So extras, the things like the uh, representations of the cameras and the and the lights. You see, we've got a little camera down here just showing me where it is. If I turn extras off, that disappears, as does my light up here. Okay, what else have we got? So we've got bones, relationship lines, etc., etc., etc. Uh, origins, it's that little dot down there showing me the origin of uh, this bar, which is definitely not in the right place. Um, whoops. And then we have the wireframe option, which you can turn off and on. And you can also change its uh, thickness and opacity to you know, suit your needs. One last thing in the here is something I use when I'm maybe in the uh, flat shaded mode. I want to make sure that I haven't turned anything inside out. So my normals are facing uh, inwards instead of outwards. If you turn this face orientation on, um, 
hopefully everything will turn blue in which case everything's fine uh, but if some is uh, got flipped normals then you'll see it in red and then you can adjust you know adjust that and uh, and you're away okay so that's pretty much the viewport uh, options i'm just going to turn that off uh, one thing i will show you is this this is x-ray mode uh, so currently everything is very solid if we're going to x-ray mode you'll see everything ghosts a little bit and that allows you to select things through things um, it's not so much in object mode um, but when you're in edit mode it's very handy i promise you okay so that's that and i will talk to you soon